Hello there, my name is Ismas. This is part three of our training course. And uh, yeah, before we start uh, with the texturing, uh, let's first make a few texture maps that are going to help us uh, with the texturing. So the first map we're going to make is the pointiness map or cavity map. And then the next map we're going to be use is the, we're going to make is the ambient occlusion map. So you might be wondering why, ne why do we even bother making these maps? So if you go to overlays here and uh, turn on cavity, you can see how the sharp corners are being highlighted and uh, that is what we want to bake uh, for the cavity map and uh, that will help us generate a mask uh, for these sharp edges so that if you want to say have the uh, this chair have eroded or fainting fainted uh, corners here we can use that cavity map uh, to mask out to make those areas eroded and uh, if you look at uh, if you go to uh, to to google and type in blender pointiness map you can see how a pointiness map would look it's just a mask that shows you where the sharp edges are and uh, if you go to again google and uh, search for a uh, for substance beta uh, shaders you'll see how the pointiness map is being utilized you can see in this example here we have this wood a uh, shader and uh, this sh the the corners uh, the sharp edges here are a bit eroded because they are always exposed uh, more exposed uh, than other areas and i see how the text the paint is being eroded there and uh, maybe even getting more scratches scratches there we can use the pointiness map uh, to create uh, that illusion and uh, i also have a few more examples here i'll be lo i'll be using a lot of substance painter examples because substance painter is the leading uh, texturing uh, program so they have a lot of good art uh, shaders out there so you can look at uh, how these shaders look you can see we have some erosion there and you even see some dents uh, maybe s as a result so things bumping into this object and uh, being s the wo wood being scratched things like that you can see so that is all that is what uh, the uh, pointiness map helps you achieve and then we have the ambient occlusion ambient occlusion map uh, this just usually helps you darken the corners a bit are uh, those images are for, I, I saw an image here that uh, demonstrated what uh, curvatures are and uh, I don't think I can see it but uh, here's a good example of ambient occlusion it just helps uh, bring out uh, the shape of the object you can see just type in ambient occlusion map to, to get a feel of uh, what the ambient occlusion does or looks like uh, so you can see in here it's also being used in these shaders to make uh, those corners or, or those the insides of or dense indents of of the, of the objects a bit darker like that see it's very helpful in that way and uh, also very useful in cases where you want to add say dust are uh, collecting in corner areas because I mean occlusion is usually in the corner areas so it can help you uh, create a mask within those corners so if you wanted to add uh, dust in those areas ambient occlusion is what you could use so you can see here those corner areas those inside areas uh, you can use ambient occlusion to add whatever you want to add in uh, like what you see in this example okay so let's continue uh, with the next part uh, by uh, that is going to be about baking uh, these cavity map and uh, ambient occlusion map. Thank you.